Hey guys, this is Mike from Empty Worlds. I am uh, going to do a first devlog, kind of playthrough of Interstellar Transport Company. Um, so those of you who don't know about the game, it's a um, space transportation uh, company simulation game, basically. Um, so you operate, manage um, a transport company in space, you try to colonize different planets, you try to uh, manage a different infrastructure and um, basically make a lot of money moving stuff around you know different planets and different factories uh, throughout space and stuff so um, what I'm kinda gonna do here is uh, just go through some basic gameplay um, we're still you know maybe four months out from launch or so um, if everything goes good we're, we're not really sure yet um, we're kinda gonna wait until response is um, high enough to some of our videos like these before we uh, release so uh, let's kinda jump right into a game here so y you'll have different options you can obviously do a custom game or you, you know you change the amount of stars and everything else um, and you can customize exactly how many AI competitors you want um, you have the same options in multiplayer, so if you're playing online, you can change exactly how big or how small you want. But you also have these predefined games, which are going to allow you to um, allow you to do uh, ranked games, so and also leaderboard games for single player. So if you're doing single player games and you do a predefined game, it'll actually put your um, put your game ranked against other people's finished games on the steam leaderboards um, if you do the same in multiplayer it'll it'll give you you'll there'll be like an MMR system behind the scenes and it'll rank you against people who are um, around the same skill level as you so let's just do a predefined normal difficulty um, let's see we'll do empty worlds transport and we'll change our color let's see yellow looks good <clears throat> now the um, the galaxy the galaxy is all uh, procedurally generated um, so you'll get a different galaxy every single time you play um, and this is the galaxy screen here so as you can see um, mostly stars are, are kind of this yellowish color machine which means they have no population um, you'll see one of these is Sol, which is obviously our star. Um, it's got a ton of population, and I just have a little test system over here so I can test the interstellar stuff. Um, so if we go into Sol, you'll see that we have a similar um, uh, color scheme on the planets. So here's Earth with the moon I had to cut the video there my uh, my son decided to come in and uh, <laughs> tried to play with me here so anyways um so I have and you can get in nice and close to the the different plants here uh, this is earth and the moon of course um, you have all the different planets obviously and all the different moons so if you go over to like the uh, here's Saturn and you got you know Titan here you can just click on these that'd be easier um, where's Jupiter I gotta fix the um, the zoom speed because I mean the zoom speed just kinda takes forever when you're zooming out so yeah, you can see Jupiter's got all you know four big moons here. Um, so we tried to model it. it. It's pretty darn accurate as far as you know the distances between all the different planets and everything. The um, the distances between the Earth and the Moon and you know actually all the different moons are a little um, exaggerated just because the simulation couldn't really handle them being so close with the other planetary distances so far and everything but I mean we kind of err on the side of realism throughout the game so it, it's a pretty cool um, it's a pretty cool setup of the galaxy and all the the plants and everything else um, so 
what the game kind of focuses on is building routes between um, the different planets and managing the routes um, and managing the different resources. So as you can see on Earth, these are the supply and demands here that you have. So food, water, um, consumer goods, raw materials, rare raw resources, uh, machinery, and then all the different types of passengers that you can transport. We're also going to be adding um, dilithium crystals and uh, dilithium fuel, which you have to re uh, refine into fuel, of course, the crystals into fuel. Um, that will be how you manage the uh, amount of interstellar fuel that you have, and you're going to have to move that around between the different systems, making sure that you have everything supplied. So th that's just kind of one of the things that we're adding um, in order to uh, boost the amount of infrastructure management you have in the game. All right, so as you can see, Earth is supplying a lot of food and water, a little bit of consumer goods, and it needs a ton of rare resources. So what we're kind of going off is that it's, it's 2050, and the Earth is you know just really crowded. It's got almost 10 billion people here now, um, and there's there's not much room for us to mine and to uh, gather rare you know to gather minerals and resources off the planet. So we're starting to look out starting to look out at the moon and on the moon as you can see here we're not really supplying any resources yet the reason that is is because our development's so low so development's only at 20 percent so kind of what you're you're going to be doing is trying to develop these colonies so they could provide the things you need let's get a start then so we want to supply the moon with um, as you can see it needs food and water and uh, needs some consumer goods, needs colonists. Um, that's something I missed here. So if you look back at Earth, you can see all the different uh, passenger symbols here. So this tells you what passengers are waiting to go where. So as you can see, these all, all that ones highlighted in red. These are all colonists that are coming from Earth and going to the Moon. Um, you'll see the ones highlighted in blue. That means they're going to the same destination, but they're a different type of passenger. So these blue ones are business travelers so you'll, you have um, colonists business travelers and uh, tourists okay so let's set up a flight between the earth and the moon all right so route so I'm going to rename this route earth moon save that so I'm going to add a stop at, oh can't do that yet because I don't have any gates on Earth, so I need to lease some gates. It, it, when you lease them, it, it tells you how much. So you sure want to lease this gate for twenty-one thousand dollars and one thousand a month. So depending on how developed the planet is, that's how much you're going to be spending um, for the gate leases. So we're going to get uh, let's go two gates for now. Um, we're going to need some on the moon as well. Oops, click the ship. All right, so let's get a couple of gates on the moon. That should be good. So we're down to 151,000. Let's buy a couple ships. So this is the um, ship purchase screen. So let me slow down the simulation here so it doesn't start starving the moon or nothing. Um, so what you're what you're doing here, you're setting up the different types of cargoes that you can um, transport on the ships you're buying. With the dry climate controlled cargo slots, you can carry uh, consumer goods or food, rare raw resources. Um, then there's the different types of other uh, cargo slots. We're, we're going to be, like I said, we're going to be adding some different, um, some more cargoes to carry. Um, so not not all these will just be carrying one type. So let's buy, let's get one ship with um, with the dry climate controlled slots and then we'll get one of the bigger ships with all water. And order that. As you can see here, um, they go on order. So these ships are, are being built. Um, at the beginning of the game, all the ships get built on, on Earth, but later on, uh, you'll be able to set up different um, 
different uh, shipyards, depots on other planets so that you can build, you know, different systems and, and so forth. Alright, so now that we have the gates, we have some ships. Well, you don't really need the ships to do it, but now that we have some gates, we can set up a route between Earth and the moon. As you can see, we're yellow. You see our little yellow route being added here. Um, you can also turn on you know, show competitor routes. You can turn that off, so if you just want to see your routes, you can do that. But we'll leave them on for now, because we're kind of interested in what our competitors are doing. Um, I, I don't, don't mind the AI too much right now, because it's, I mean, it's really early days, so, you know, the AI can't actually make a profit yet, but they're getting close. Um, as you can see, I mean, they have a couple ships going. This one's doing water to Mars. This one's doing food to Mars. So, I mean, they're they're getting close. This one's transporting, what, food and rare resources between Earth and the Moon. Um, so let's assign our ships to a route, and we will go ahead and start it. And as you can see, our little ship goes from Earth, goes to the Moon, and um, if you hover over it here, it's telling you it's tw carrying 20 food right now. So let's see what kind of see what kind of money we made. I think the smaller ships are like twenty thousand dollars right now, um, so we can kind of get an idea of, of what we're going to be making. All right, so we make about twelve hundred dollars. Cool. So let's assign this one also. Uh, start that ship. And there he goes, flying around. And we just added this cool little um, landing animation so it kind of lands on the planet instead of just... I mean, they used to just disappear a few months ago, so... Big improvement. And you can see that they, the uh, food ship, he can also carry rare resources, so the, the moon is producing some of that. Um, not too much. You can see down here with the production consumption, how much is waiting. So there's 42 rare resources, so they'll, they'll dry up pretty fast. Um, Alright, so you have finances screen here. Th that helps you, um, it'll help you manage, you know, your, your incomes, outlays, and everything else. Um, Alright, so now that we have that working, let's kind of, let's see how much stuff the moon has. It's still demanding a lot of food and water, of course. And as you can see, every little delivery is going to bring this demand and uh, demand down. So what what we'll do now is set up a uh, colonist because if you remember looking at the Earth, I mean, there's a ton of colonists waiting to go to the Moon. So we'll we'll buy a ship that will transport um, colonists to the Moon. Now, what you got to keep in mind when you do this is that each um, each slot can carry about 5,000 passengers, so you're going to be increasing the the pass, you know, the population of your planets kind of significantly. I mean, Moon only has six million people now, so we're going to be adding, was that 200,000 or so, every delivery, um, or 50? I'm, I'm not sure, but it's going to be a lot of people, and um, so you got to make sure that you up the uh, water and um, food deliveries as well. So we'll kind of speed this up so that the uh, ship gets ordered faster here. Okay, awaiting assignment. Earth Moon, good. So in transit, let's see how much money we make for this. Alright, 750 for the colonist delivery. Um, and we'll watch that population the next time it gets delivered to see how much it actually rises by. You know what I should put in here too is like a little uh, population graph so you can see if maybe if you hover over the population you can see actually how fast that population is rising. That would be quite helpful. Um, the other planets here get colonized by um, the Earth government. So you'll see, I mean, all, all these original ones, colony founded by Earth government. Um, it naturally spreads, but you can also found your own colony. So if I had 500,000, I could actually 
um, build a colony on like Mercury here or something. Uh, but we'll, we'll just hope that it naturally happens on its own. So we'll wait for that. All right. So as you can see, the population is already six million five hundred thousand. It was six million four hundred thousand or something. So so we're raising it, you know, pretty fast here. This one's carrying what? Twenty colonists. All right. So it's six million six hundred thousand. So so it's almost a hundred thousand per delivery. So we will have to up our deliveries of food and water. Um, so let's buy let's buy another couple ships. We'll do a bigger one for food and oh, we are out of money here. So let, let's go ahead and take a loan out. Um, just buy some more capital and uh, so we don't want to do a crazy long. I mean as you can see the interest rates you start with my credit rating is starts at C so it's it's really bad um, I don't want to take too long of a, a loan um, I don't know let's go like geez that interest rates crazy that might actually be too high I'm not sure but I mean your, your credit rating is pretty awful right now so um, I only need about 30 Let's go 33,000. We'll take that loan. That'll be enough to buy our other ship we needed. It should be all water. Order that. This other one's waiting already. So let's assign that and start it. There we go. And we're still waiting on this water one to, to deliver. There it is. All right, so let's assign it to the Earth Moon route and start it. And let's see. Cool. Good. About three thousand a delivery. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you you see the ship kind of freaking out. We need to put a proper orbit animation in. But that is them orbiting. So what that's telling me is that there's not enough gates at Earth right now. Yeah, you see the same, same thing going on at the moon here. So the, the moon gates aren't that much to buy. It was only, what, 2,000? Yeah, so we can afford that. So let's buy another moon gate so that they don't orbit around the moon. They're just going to deliver right away. Um, the Earth ones, I think, were... Yeah, see, I'm, yeah, I, I know. that <laughs> The animation's really bad right now, but basically it, it'll eventually orbit around the Earth, um, look pretty, and... Um, give you a better idea of what is actually happening. Um, so we, I think we're we're making money here. Um, let's go 30 days. Yeah, our 30 day profit is 1,700, which is not not bad for for just start starting out here. Um, we could start thinking about delivering stuff to Mars. Uh, it looks like they're pretty well handled right now, though. They do need um, machinery. Machinery it helps a lot with development. Um, so you can see development level isn't even 1% on Mars yet. I mean, it has a really low population, really low um, machinery level right now. But we will... Uh, we, we can't really do anything about the machinery right now because basically it's not working well in the game. It's supposed to be produced from rare raw resources um, and you need you know mining factories on the planets but as you can see there's nothing really to build on the planets yet which is what we will be working on next and hopefully within next month or so we'll be able to put a new devlog and, and show you guys that. Uh, but as soon as those factories which are creating the, fa the machinery are in it'll be a little easier to manage the development of your of the different colonies uh, let's see here so there's a lot of colonists want to go to the test system yeah 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 which I I could probably set up a route see somebody's already flying a ship here I I'm not sure that this is okay you know what let no, we don't have enough money. We need a lot of money for a 
Oops. We need a lot of money for a ship that can actually travel interstellar. You can see these these AI ships are, are flying out there. So that's kind of what they do. They fly to the edge of the system, um, and then they'll show up on the galaxy map here, flying to the um, interstellar space. So you, you can kind of imagine later on in the game, I mean, all these stars will be populated with different... Um, with different things, so you, you can go in here and you can see, you know, different types of uh, planets now. And what we're kind of thinking for um, to kind of add a little bit of exploration to the game, y you'll get details. Um, right now, you see the exact amounts, you know, like the water availability, uh, habitability of each of the planets, but that's not, it, it's not going to show you exact numbers until you send a probe there. Um, but that's coming again in probably in a couple months before launch. Um, so I'm hoping maybe the next devlog or, or the one after, or the one after that, I'll be able to show you that. Um, that should add a lot to the you know, sense of exploring the galaxy, not just having everything known to you right off the bat. So we're making, we're making good money. What did we make? Last 90 days, 11,000 profit. So that's good. Um, we're, we're spending a lot in ship fuel. The, the reason that probably is because it, it's more expensive to leave a... And we need to get another gate on Earth. I wonder if I can afford that now. No, I need 21,000. So I'll wait for that. Um, the reason we're spending probably spending so much on fuel right now is because flying from Earth is actually more expensive because you know there's more gravity on Earth, so uh, it costs more in fuel. Um, so that, that's another thing that you'll have to manage. You know, you, the fuel costs. So if you want to set up some sort of delivery system where you you stage stuff on the moon or something, um, and you fly it from there, that might be a more affordable option. Or you use different types of ships that are more um, cost efficient, leaving Earth just kind of as like a taxi service back and forth from the Earth to the moon. Um, and then do your long calls to the different um, systems and stuff. So th there'll be a lot to think about as far as efficiencies and everything else. So let's see if we're supplying the moon with everything it needs. So th the food demand is going down quite a lot. The water demand has actually gone up a little. Let's see if Mars is doing okay. Um, yeah, Mars is Mars is all right. As you can see, I mean, the, the waiting here. Nobody's really delivering colonists to Mars yet. So let's buy the other gate on Earth. It's going to cut into our profits each month a little because it's $1,000 a month to, to do, but I'm hoping that, you know, ships won't be orbiting here and it'll actually kind of equal out. <clears throat> um... Let's set up a route to Mars. So I'll buy a couple gates here. Um, I'm actually going to reassign. So I, I bought. Oh no, I don't have enough money for all that. So I'm going to pause this and just kind of speed it up to make some money. All right, I'm back here. Um, so that didn't take too long. As you can see, we're we're just about there to twenty thousand. So I just want twenty thousand so that I can. Um, a ship to Mars, and I think I'll, I'll just split it between. Um, I think what I'll do is just split it between food and water. Actually, let's look at the um, let's look at the demands again. So it just needs water. Let's let's just set it up for water and maybe one colonist slot. So let's go purchase new ship. Do four, three water and one the cheapest uh, seating. And for that, we gotta set up a route between Earth and Mars. Let's see how many people are waiting. Okay, yeah, there, there, see, there's a lot of colonists waiting for Mars. So I, I think one was that five uh, five seats on that ship will be plenty. So routes, new route, had to stop Earth to. Mars and give it a new name. We'll just call it Mars. 
turn off the orbit lines too if that's annoying to you guys. We'll leave that off for a while. Um, and we'll also turn off the competitor routes for a little while. Just see, it's a little bit cleaner to see what exactly is going on with your company. Alright, so that one is done. Let's assign it to the Mars route. Save the route and start it. So now this guy's going to start his long haul. Oh, he didn't actually pick up any passengers. I wonder why that is. Huh. That's strange. That might be a bug or might be something to do with the ticket price. Um, the the passengers actually get a little more um, desperate as time goes on, so they they should have they should have just kind of gotten on any ship available. This guy's been waiting five hundred thirty days, man. And they'll they'll only wait like two or three years, depending on, on you know what their goal is. But um, yeah, they they won't wait that long for you. Alright, so he's carrying 15 water, so we, we probably won't make much money since I don't think water demand is that high, is it? No, it's not that high. But it, it, it'll be something. So let's speed that up. Wait for our ship. You can actually put the ship follow camera on here. We'll slow it down before we get to uh, Mars. <coughs> This is really not the best ship for this. I mean, the the, the um, larger ships do a little, you know, they get there a little faster and everything else. So let's slow it down. Let you guys see our pretty little landing animation here. We could also see how much money that uh, ship made. I eh, can't really tell. Yeah, right, right now we have the profits, the uh, the ship costs are figured into the profits, but I think we'll remove that. Um, we were just talking about that the other day. Um, Chris, you know, suggested that that's probably not a good idea because you can't actually see, you know, what the ship is doing because it, it looks like it's always losing money. Um, how much is one of these new ships, though? So? 20000 So, yeah, I, I think it, it, it lost money because of fuel and everything else. Uh, where'd that go? Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Anyhow, um, yeah, there's no new colonies. I was hoping that a new colony would sprout up and we could start supplying that. Um, but it doesn't look like we're getting lucky here. All right, and you, as you can see here, I mean, water, water demand's getting pretty high on the moon. So we should probably help with that. Um... Yeah, food demand is really quite low. Uh, we, we, we can't reassign um, slots yet in ships, but basically eventually we'll allow you to change the loadout of your different ships so that you can you know change this one to, um, instead of being food, we'll let you pay money to um, change the loadout to water or something. You, you'll probably need a, a higher level hangar or something to do that maintenance shed, I don't know. Um, anyways, I'm going to leave this here. Um, this video is going a lot longer than I thought it would. Wow. All right, so I please, you know, leave comments, follow us on uh, Twitter, Facebook. I'll make sure I'll put all the information um, everywhere I post this video so you guys can find us wherever, wherever you find this. Um, so if you have any questions, please let us know. You know, we're, we're don't have a ton of followers yet so every little piece of advice every little piece of feedback gets heard definitely um, and we really appreciate all your support thanks guys